Hi everyone, I'm Ashley, a naturalist with the East Bay Regional Park District. I'm here today at Shadow Cliffs Regional Recreation Area and I'm right by a creek called the Arroyo del Val. It's behind me and it's covered in this plant called duckweed, but there's actually water right underneath it. And this creek flows all through the park here. And it's home to many different plants and animals that need one another to survive. This place provides food, water, and shelter for lots of different types of animals. Can you think of any animals that might live here? Well, animals like turtles, fish, foxes, and ducks live here. And that's just to name a few of them. One of my favorite animals that live here are the ducks. There might even be some ducks swimming around on top of the water right now. Can you make the sound of a duck? Good job. You sound like our friend the mallard. And the mallard has a bright green head. This is the boy mallard or the male mallard and the female is a beautiful brown color. There's lots of different types of ducks and there's a really cool duck that lives here. And in my opinion, it's even more colorful than the mallard and it's called a wood duck. The wood duck looks like this. The male has these beautiful stripes and lots of different colors. And the female is brown and also has this white around her eyes. I also have an example of a male wood duck sitting right behind me. The wood duck makes a different sound than the mallard though. It says, weak. Let's hear you say the sound that a wood duck makes. Weak. Good job. Wood ducks live near lots of tall trees, ponds, and marshes. Do you know what the place is called that an animal lives where they can find food, water, and shelter? That's right, it's called a habitat. And right now, I'm in a wood duck habitat. And the reason I know this is because there are clues all around me that tell me so. There are tall trees, there's water, and there's lots of plants and bugs, things that the wood duck likes to eat. Do you like blackberries? Well, did you know that the wood duck likes to eat blackberries too? Animals live in places where they have everything that they need, just like we do. Do you think you'd find a wood duck in the desert? Probably not, because the desert doesn't have what a wood duck needs. Ducks and wood ducks are birds, which means they have feathers, a beak, and they lay eggs. Many birds can make their own nests using materials they find around them. And the wood duck actually will use a cavity in a tree to make its nest. A cavity in a tree? Yeah, a cavity in a tree is a hole in a tree that was probably formed after a branch fell off of the tree. If you look around and you look at the tall trees around me, you might actually find a cavity or a hole where a branch might have been. The mama duck will climb into her cavity and what materials do you think she might use to create her nest? Yeah, she even use her, uses her own feathers to make a cozy layer in her nest for her babies and her, hatch, and her ducklings. One of the really cool things is when a, a wood duck hatchling hatches, the day after it's born, it falls from the tree and it lands on the ground or the creek and it doesn't get hurt. And then it goes about living its life, finding everything it needs, food, water, and a place to live. If you were here 100 years ago, you probably wouldn't find any wood, wood ducks because 100 years ago, they almost went extinct. And the reason was because people use the trees that they live in. We cut them down for things that we need every day. Wood ducks are doing great today. There's plenty of wood ducks. And that's because there's lots of things that people can do and have done to help them. One thing is that we actually put up wood duck boxes around the park. This is an example of what a wood duck box, box might look like. This helps um, give them a place to live if there aren't enough trees around. There are actually things that you can do at home too. Do you know of anything that you use that's made out of trees? Paper. We use paper every day. And something you can do is actually use both sides of the paper or even buy paper that's made out of recycled materials. I've really enjoyed exploring and talking about wood ducks and this habitat with you. At home, you can look for habitats of different animals even in your yard or your neighborhood. You might find a home for a bird or a bug. And when you explore, you'll find that everything has a habitat with everything it needs.